And I realized that twerking, shimmying, undulating, shaking truly is a spiritual practice. And now today we're going to be learning about one of the greatest psychological hacks to ever be discovered. A very simple way to instantly get rid of trauma, generational trauma, and that is through twerking. You heard me right, twerking, which unbeknownst to me is actually a very spiritual practice. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. All the self-help slash spirituality grifters on social media are truly the gift that keeps on giving. But without further ado, let's just dive right into this. Shaking is such a primal practice of releasing trauma and somatic blockages and emotions through our body, especially our hips. Mm -hmm. Our hips now we know is where we store emotions. Yep. So when you are twerking, when you're shimmying, you are literally releasing trauma, releasing, releasing stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor, you're connecting to earth, you're connecting to the womb, you're restoring your energy. You're restoring your energy. Yeah, never mind psychiatry or anything like that. The next time you're dealing with a very traumatic event in your life, just start shaking cheeks and release all that trauma. Your parents just died in a car accident and you're at the funeral. Time to start clapping that ass. Like, how the hell do you even come up with this bullshit? I guarantee you, she probably thought about this while doing ayahuasca or some shit surrounded by her crystals. You know, while discussing astrology signs with her friends after yoga class. Believe it or not, not every thought needs to be talked about on a podcast. Also, you gotta love her co-host or guest over there that hears this and just agrees right away. Like, not even a second thought. She's just nodding away to the absolute nonsense that was just said. Unreal. <laughs> stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor, you're connecting to earth, you're connecting to the womb, you're restoring your energy. And that's why it's not even just an African dance, but in Middle Eastern dance, in Latin American dance, salsa mm -hmm. dance, bachata, every single dance form has some form of hip movement to it. This is also why zebras, when they're running away from a lion and they're about to get eaten and they make it into the nick of time, they shake their bodies off, release the trauma. Twerking zebras. Somebody quote that. Zebras are actually uh, very spiritual animals. You really do learn something new every day. Yeah, those animals uh, shaking out of fear after nearly getting slaughtered are consciously twerking to release all that trauma. Now I definitely know that she thought about this during an ayahuasca trip. Yeah, and use flash, it's not that deep. Twerking doesn't release trauma. It's not spiritual. You just like shaking your ass. And that's totally fine. Fuck yeah. But spouting this much nonsense online is straight up dangerous. I saw a comment on Reddit saying this is exactly like bro science for women and that could not be more right. All this spiritual nonsense online is pretty much the manosphere for women. Like if this were on some manosphere podcast, they'd probably be talking about jacking off as a way to release trauma. Trauma, and there is actually uh, scientific research behind this is actually stored in your nutsack. Did you know this? In the nick of time, they shake their bodies off, release the trauma, and they come back to homeostasis. So I started to realize that as I was doing this, I was healing myself through all of these generations of collective trauma that now we know with epigenetics is actually stored within our systems. And I realized that twerking, shimmying, undulating, shaking truly is a spiritual practice. And now I share it as much as I can. Epigenetics, homeostasis. Now we're just throwing any big word out there that comes to mind. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't even know what those words mean. She's just yapping to yap at this point, talking about epigenetics. Meanwhile, all her research probably comes from uh, TikTok on her phone. What's even scarier is the <laughs> conviction in saying all this stuff especially on a public platform. Like, how far in your delusions do you have to be to confidently say all this shit with a straight face that zebras are twerking to release trauma and that shaking your cheeks is a spiritual practice? Her brain's been uh, taken over by the spiritual talk TikTok algorithm at this point. That's suppressing you. To fight back, you need to be the opposite. You need to show that resistance, mm -hmm. right? So for me, twerking is also an act of resistance to the patriarchy mm -hmm. because it's showing that I am not going to sit still and be quiet and do this for you on your time. I'm going to enjoy my body and 
do it in public at a concert and do it when I feel like it. And, and my husband's the one who's taking the videos. And it's like <laughs> so out of people's norm. Mm -hmm. They're like, wait, you aren't single. Like you're, you're married and you're doing this. You're, you're Middle Eastern and you're doing this. And to me, it's giving people that permission slip to step outside of whatever box they've mm -hmm. put themselves into and to reclaim the thing that brings you joy. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, why are we doing, even doing the spiritual journey? I think a lot of spiritual people need to start twerking because they have fucking sticks up their asses <laughs> yeah. and they're taking this shit way too seriously. Like you're healing for what? You know, mm -hmm. like there's no gold star you get at the end. You're healing to experience joy. Mm -hmm. If you start shaking your ass, you will experience joy. <laughs> you really, you really <laughs> yeah. will. It's so much fun. Yeah. Speaking of taking this way too seriously, do you ever notice how all of these spiritual guru types sound like the most self-absorbed people imaginable? Ego off the charts, this person looks relatively young as well, has probably been in this spiritual rabbit hole for a few years, yet speaks like she's some kind of shaman with decades of wisdom and experience and spiritual maturity. Like, no, you, you've just been spending way too much time on TikTok. You bought some crystals, ate some shrooms, and enjoy twerking. That doesn't make you some kind of expert spokesperson shaman on a podcast. Now, sadly, we're going to be moving on to another video. This video has a song that's copyrighted. I can't play the original audio, but you could read the lyrics. So, there's some songs about this stuff as well. I twerk to release the trauma. Save your therapy bills, people. This is what you need to be doing. Head over to your local parking lot and just start shaking your ass. Now, I have nothing against twerking. I have no complaints here, but what I do have a problem with is the blatant misinformation on how the human body and brain works. Like, how about you go tell a veteran with uh, PTSD to start twerking? Imagine going to a psychologist or doctor and they tell you you need to start throwing some ass or paying one of these gurus for their course. That is fucking insane. Shaking is such a primal practice of releasing trauma and somatic blockages and emotions through our body. Honestly, after watching this, I think I might need to go do some uh, twerking to relieve myself of the brain trauma I just suffered watching and listening to this podcast. The moral of today's video is be very careful with the information you come across online. I feel like it's extremely easy nowadays to fall into one of these rabbit holes, whether it's these spiritual TikTok gurus, manifesting frauds, political rabbit holes, you gotta watch out. You need to question these things. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know if you're gonna be doing some twerking now and tapping into your spiritual energy, healing your generational trauma. Maybe I'm wrong about all this. Maybe it's true. Let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.